What do you think about first. what do you think about gin? You can be honest with me. Um, it's strong, definitely yeah? strong. Uh, it's not something I usually go for, but uh, okay. I'm usually a vodka girl. <laughs> this is you like a vodka tonic? I do like a vodka tonic. You like a vodka tonic with some lemon in it? Yes. Okay. This is a vodka tonic with lemon in it, and a little bit of botanicals, like okay. juniper, coriander. Mm. Tangerine peel. Sounds good. Okay, that's okay. all it is. Gin is basically flavored vodka. Okay. It's the original flavor of vodka. I've tells you how much I know about gin. It's yeah, <laughs> it's it's it is what it is. What we're using is Old Tom gin. That was a style that was popular in the 19th century, which is where this drink came from. It's a sweetened gin. Okay. So it's not quite as okay. in the throat it has as a little sugar in it. Yeah, or? exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's all they do with it. And it's it's basically the same as all the other gins. It has the juniper and all these lovely botanicals. It's, you know, garden fresh. So the Tom Collins is one of my favorite springtime warm weather drinks. Perfect for It's today. perfect, yeah. So. And if you tell your friends it's a vodka lemon tonic with a little botanical in it. They'll love it. They'll, they'll love, love it. it. And they'll never know that they're drinking gin. Okay. So here's the deal. We do two ounces of gin. Okay. So this is an ounce and a half on this side. Okay. And three quarters of an ounce on the small side. Okay. Okay. So if I go like an ounce and a half all the way up to the top, okay. it's a jigger. And they come in a couple different sizes. So that was an ounce and a half. Okay. And then there's another half ounce that goes up to like that. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a lot. Two ounces. Yeah, it's a little bit over a shot. Okay. But you serve it on ice, it has some bubbles in it, you take your time with it, and it's it's very refreshing. Okay. Perfect. Oh, spilled a little. That's, That's all right. Okay. And then this side. Mm-hmm. And just about there. Perfect. Right okay. on. Okay. So there's your gin. Your fresh lemon juice. It's okay. Always has to be fresh. You can't buy those I plastic lemons. I love everything fresh, so. And, and look where we are. I know. I mean, why I wouldn't have, you? Right? I have a lemon tree, so I could do this. Even better. Okay. Yeah, fresh off the tree is so even better. other side here? Uh, one ounce, so yeah, back to the big okay. side. So we go about like that for one ounce. Okay. Okay? Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can do this right You good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. About there? Yep. Dump that on in. I'll take the lemon. Okay. And then a half ounce of simple syrup, which is a cup of water and a cup of sugar. And you can make this at home? I mean, yeah, yeah. this is your own? You can, they sell it, but it's really, it, it's stupid. It's, easy to it's do. stupid easy. You put, you put a cup of sugar and a cup of water in a saucepan, low heat, stir them until the sugar dissolves. That's oh, it. That's pretty easy. Okay. That's it. And it's, it's actually great. I keep it in the fridge, and it's great to have around for like making iced coffee in the afternoon or for sweetening iced tea because okay. you know sugar doesn't dissolve in cold liquids. But if you have it like this, oh. it's good to go. So how long does that keep? I mean, just I've never, forever. I've I mean, never had it go bad in the fridge. Okay. And you know, we, we use it all the time. Okay. And then a half ounce of simple syrup. So that's just like that okay. on the small side. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now we're and we have our ice, ice for mixing. You want to put like a third full in your mixing tin there. Okay. okay. That's a big ice cubes. Is that they too They stay nice and cold. No, that's good. Okay. Looks like a lot, but. Yeah. All right, now you have in your cobbler shaker, you just cap it off. In this Boston shaker, I have to go like this. So, is there any trick to this? Because I never make cocktails. No, so. you just want to hold that and keep okay. it from flying off. And then just shake. And give it a good shake for like 20 seconds. Hard. Hard. It's a workout. Right? You're earning your drink. And when you start to get some frost on the outside of the shaker, then it's done. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. It's a good thing I work out. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, now you have a strainer already built in, so okay, you just pull so off just that cap, you'll be good to go. And I have to use this okay. Hawthorne strainer. Pour it right on in your glass there. Great. And it 
tops off with this tonic water. Okay. You can use tonic, you can use club soda. If you like like Pellegrino or something, you can use that. This sounds very refreshing. It's I'm very excited. refreshing. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, you just get some nice bubbles in there. It's a perfect little warm weather. Sit outside on the patio and drink a drink. Grab your bar spoon. Okay. And the bubbles are mostly on top right now, so you just want to kind of pull from the bottom to get the drink up to the top and push the bubbles back down a couple times and kind of stir it around that way. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's, that's different. Yeah. If you just stir it around in a circle, it's not going to do much, so you want to actually work it bottom to top. Okay. Just like that. We have our little flag garnish of the uh, lime and cherry there. Ooh. That Sink that beautiful. in. Beautiful. I love it. Yep. And we have straws, if you like. I like a straw. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> makes, it, makes it like a summer drink. Here's your Tom Collins. Awesome. See what you think. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Wow. That is good. You would not know I didn't like gin. I mean, right. It's, it's, it's great. I love it. Yeah. This is one of my, what I call arm twister drinks, where if someone says, oh my God, I can't drink gin, or I, I had gin in college and it made me sick. Can't even taste it. Right. It's like a lemonade. It really. just all blends together. You do get a little bit of the, of the botanicals of the juniper and those kind of, you know, green flavors, but it all is perfectly balanced. Oh, I love it. But too many of these and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers Thank to you. you. Thanks. I have my first cocktail.